Once you've made your 3D house and you've colored it all in, the next question is how do you make furniture and other such things so that you get full point value? Now, I think it's fairly easy and obvious how to import furniture from the web. This will give you part marks, of course, is uh, if you go to the 3D warehouse and you type in um, a table <coughs> or a door or something like that. Now you can see you can get a fully built table or you can get partially built tables. Uh, this looks like a patio set table. Um, there's a number of different possibilities. You can get a coffee table. Um, and they're fairly, fairly easy to put into your model. You just click download model, choose load it directly, and then now you can put it in wherever it is that you want it to go. You can see there, there's your fancy table. Um, but sometimes you don't want to do that. So for instance, in our um, activity, we're going to want to draw stuff ourselves. And so I'm just going to start out by drawing an island in the kitchen. You can do kitchen cupboards. I'm going to just assume this back wall here and side wall here will be our kitchen. I'm going to start out by doing an island just because it's a little bit more fancy. Um, and I want an island that's roughly a, a meter wide. So I'm going to leave the dimensions as they are on this side. So I'll just put the comma and then one and then enter. And now that's exactly one meter wide. And then I'm just going to do something very similar on this side. Doesn't necessarily have to be the same uh, length. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. So the first number I don't really care about. So I'll leave it as is and just type in the comma and one and enter. So now it's one meter by one meter. And now if I just want to make it a little bit fancier. I'm just going to draw a diagonal from there to there. And uh, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. And just because we have to make it somewhat fancy, I'll draw a line across there. And it's given me pink because it remembers the last line that I just drew was at a 45 degree angle. And it, so it's that's why that line has now turned to pink. And so I can just um, erase these inside lines a little bit. And then I'm just going to push pull this up. Hello. Okay. And Hello. once you push pulled that up, then you can type in 1.2 for a four meter high or four foot high um, little breakfast cabinet. And if you want to add another dimension on top of that, you can. Um, you can raise it up again, or you can draw a line around here. There's a number of different ways to, to do that. But this is just a simple little breakfast nook. And if you wanted to um, make some simple stools to go with it, um, I'm just going to choose the simplest possible stools um, to go into it. And then if you want to, instead, if you would rather just do um, legs or other such things, it's not very difficult to go from there and just erase parts of this and build legs. So if you have any other questions about this, feel free to ask. Um, just carry on going around and drawing um, the different parts of um, your kitchen that you're going to want to make. And uh, shouldn't be too radically difficult to achieve those things. And once you've done that, um, then you can add on um, some small basic things like handles um, that you can draw yourself or however and uh, should be able to finish that up without too much time.